India is about to test something that could change the future of warfare. The Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO will test its new hypersonic missile Dhwani by the end of this year. And here's the headline. It can actually fly over Mach 5, that's actually 7,400 kilometers per hour faster than a bullet and more than twice the speed of Brahmos. Dhwani isn't just another missile, it's actually a hypersonic glide vehicle or HGV, a new class a weapon that blends raw speed with extreme maneuverability. First, it's boosted high into the atmosphere. Then, it glides unpowered, swerving unpredictably before hitting its target. That's actually what makes it nearly impossible to detect and even harder to stop. DRDO's earlier hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle, HSTDV, laid the foundation testing India's scramjet propulsion, heat shields, and high-speed aerodynamics. Now, Dhwani takes it to the next level. For context, here it is. Brahmos flies at Mach 2.8 to 3. Dhwani over Mach 5. That means it's more than twice as fast and can outmaneuver interception systems like Iron Dome or Thad. Its design uses ultra-high temperature ceramics that can withstand 3000 degrees centigrade and a stealth-optimized geometry that minimizes radar visibility. This missile doesn't just race, it hides, glides and strikes. If successful, Dhwani will place India in an elite club of nations alongside the United States, Russia and China that have mastered hypersonic weapons. But you know what? Here's what makes it even more than just a military flex. This is strategic deterrence, the kind of weapon that actually ensures no enemy dares to take the first shot. Analysts say Dhwani could double the range of current ICBMs like Agni 5 and could redefine India's defense posture in the Indo-Pacific. This test is part of a broader national push, mission mode, defense, research and development. From fighter jets and radar networks to AI-driven drones, India's self-reliance strategy is scaling fast. The RDO has also completed tests on thermal shielding, guidance and aerodynamic stability, bringing Dhwani closer to its first full-scale flight later this year. Experts say this will be a major confidence booster ahead of India's quantum command and aerospace defense roadmap. Expected in 2026. Defense analyst Girish Lingana calls it this. A hypersonic beast that Pakistan can't stop and China can't ignore. End quote. And definitely he's not exaggerating. Hypersonic glide vehicles can actually evade every existing missile defense system on Earth. Even a five-second delay in detection means it's already too late. This isn't just about military supremacy, it's about technological sovereignty. A successful test could shift power right across Asia. So, what's next? If all goes as planned, Dhwani will be tested by December 2025 with operational deployment expected by 2029-30. It will serve as the backbone of India's hypersonic strike force, capable of reaching targets up to 10,000 kilometers away. From Brahmos's to Dhwani, India's defense evolution has come full circle from speed to stealth, from reaction to deterrence. If successful, this test will mark India's arrival as a global hypersonic power, rewriting the playbook of modern warfare. Because in the next war of speed, whoever flies fastest wins first. Well, with that, we come to an end on front page on AIM Network. That is, of course, India's definitive media organization and voice on everything AI and technology. Front page is powered by MachineCon 2025. Well, it is an invite-only residential summit for GCC heads exclusively brought to you by AIM Network. 
Well, till we meet again, I have something very important to share with you. And here it is. Think AI, think AIM. Thank you.